All right, my fellow EMS instructor cadets, this is probably going to be uh, uh, part one of the most important presentations that we have within this course. This is going to be titled, uh, How Do I Know What to Teach? By far, this is the most difficult problem that all EMS instructors face. It doesn't matter if it's refresher stuff, if continuing education, CPR stuff, ACLS, or, or you're teaching initial paramedics cardiology. How do we know what to teach? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. Here's what people mostly do though. What do you think people normally do when they come into a class, especially a program that doesn't have their act together and is just winging it? They open up the textbook, pick up the textbook, and they, oh, we're going to go over chapter 27 tonight. We're going to go over chapter 7, cardiology. An instructor is going to flip to the cardiology chapter. They're going to say, let's flip to chapter 17 in the textbook and they bust out this PowerPoint that came with the textbook. You look down here in the lower left-hand corner of this screen, it says 110 slides. And your average instructor across the country is gonna turn this on, and they're gonna click this button, and they're gonna read these objectives. They might read the case study, and they're gonna start reading this. They're gonna say, heart disease is America's number one killer. Heart disease can lead to chest discomfort, cardiac arrest. And they sit here and they read all of this stuff. That's a topic for uh, maybe another chapter in terms of the presentation skills. Uh, but this is typically where people determine, how do I know what to teach? They teach whatever's in the textbook. Whatever the textbook says, that's what I'm going to teach. And they default to that because it's a lot of work. What I'm about to show you is actually not easy. It's very time consuming. Blame this uh, or put the, put the onus of this on your program director and your lead instructors to do the majority of this work, but this is how they come up with it. And when you need to modify your lesson plans, uh, this is, or you have questions, students ask you things about what's new uh, or new skills, what I'm about to show you is how you do it. So. So the first thing, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to determine what, 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 what topic are you going to go over. So you have to have some type of curriculum that is set up from your program director or from your, from your boss, or it could come from a publisher. It, it can be like that. Um, but within that curriculum, you're going to have set topics. And so in this case, we're going to use cardiology as the topic for everything uh, in, this, in, in this presentation. Cardiology is a pretty pretty good topic that's going to span across EMR, EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, uh, and in continuing education. And so it's a really good example to use. Okay, And so how do we know what to do? Well, you've got your textbook stuff, and it, 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 get, it provides you with the material. In the, in, in, in the United States, our paramedic curriculum used to be based on what we call the National Standard Curriculum. Well, somebody might think, well, what is that and how do I find that? Some people think we go to the DOT's website, and we might have had to do that years ago, but we no longer do that. What we do is we go to a website, and you can see here on the screen, I'm going to go, ooh, look at Gary BC down there. That dude's crazy. I love him, though. He's pretty good. And we're going to go to ems.gov. Okay? This is anything that's got .gov is going to be um, a, a governmental website, and so this is powered by NHTSA, the the Highway uh, Traffic Safety Administration, and this is your federal resource for uh, EMS stuff. Uh, the main thing that we have in here is this education initiative. So you can either click on it down there, or you can hover over initiatives, and then click on education. These tabs that you see here on this screen are your resources for accountability, for making sure that you're teaching the right thing, uh, and to prove to other people that, that, that you know what you're doing. The first thing that you're going to do, or what we used to do under here uh, where you see it says archived resources. So it's very common for people to come into EMS education and think that we teach to something that's called the National Standard Curriculum, or the National Curriculum. Well, we used to have that, and that's listed under here. And you can see all these old documents that are under here. But you see here it says National Standard Curriculum for, for, for all of these different levels. And the last time they came out with this for EMT Basic, which we don't call it basic anymore, but for EMT was 1994. That was 26 years ago. So 